I'd rather have a dead cell phone than my children being exposed to radiation. I couldn't care less about communications. You guys do. Some tense moments erupted during an information session about a proposed Bell cell phone tower in Milton. That's in areas where lots of people are using their cell phones, especially for data. So, for example, a BlackBerry or an iPhone uses lots of data. I have no problem. I live here. Yep. My BlackBerry works just fine. About 150 people crammed into a tiny conference room at the Milton Leisure Centre, some looking for answers. I want to know what's going to happen with it and why they've gone ahead with it without not notifying us off the bat. Right? Others came with a more specific agenda. The petition is asking for consideration for the tower to be located outside of residential and daycare areas. Altus Group, the company doing acquisition work for Bell, set up information stations about the proposed tower that duplicate a notification package that went out to residents last month. I'm not going to put my children at risk and the risk of my family. They come first and, you know, unfortunately uh, we love it out here, but maybe it's going to have to be changed. While many people are worried over health concerns, others are raising questions about the look of the tower. It will replace this temporary tower on New Life Church property and will be shaped like a cross. Don't, don't use God's uh, name or, or his cross in vain. I, I, I find that very offensive. But while residents could ask questions, they say they'll have to wait to get answers. Basically, Bell said that uh, we should fill out our comments here and mail it to them or email them, and they'll get back to us in 60 days or so. Some people are now planning a protest in front of the church, 8.30 this Sunday. Representatives from Altus Group referred us to Bell Mobility to answer any questions. At this point, Bell hasn't responded so far. Now, one Milton City Councillor is proposing a meeting at City Hall that would be open to the public where people can ask any questions they have about the tower. But ultimately, it's not up to City Hall to approve this cell phone tower. It's up to Industry Canada. Nick? Yeah, pretty sure we haven't heard the last of this one. Thanks a lot, Melissa Raftis, live tonight.